what is going on my peoples welcome back to the channel and today i want to talk to you guys about a little project of mine that i've been cooking in my head for a long long time and i have finally been able to do it as you can see here in front of you you have hawkeye from civil war and many of you don't like hawkeye but i love hawkeye he's one of my favorite uh, superheroes for the simple fact that he's not super He's just a human being, he has a lot of skill, like he can, technically he cannot miss, every, every arrow hits his target, everything he throws, he doesn't do only arrows, everything that he uses, like he can, a knife or a gun or whatever, he's just is gonna hit the target, and that is freaking amazing. And he's really funny on the comics, and he's just a badass, and I love him. So, this is the best that we have gotten so far. Out of Hot Toys, like the first Hawkeye that we got from Avengers, the uh, Avengers movie, the first Avengers movie. It was good for the time, but as you know, it's been many years and it's gotten old. The one from Age of Ultron is really, really good with the long coat. And I also happen to have that one, but this one to me is just the best for the simple fact that the the suit he's wearing, he's very tactical. He's very reminiscent of the one that he wears in the comics and it's purple and bluish and dark blue with black and it's very very militaristic looking and very tactical and i simply love this outfit and but it had a problem for me it had uh it was asymmetrical the jacket it was as completely asymmetrical it had one long sleeve and one very short sleeve so when it comes to the movie, that was fine, but when you put that on a Hot Toys, then Hot Toys has a tendency to go with those single jointed uh, arms, like the one we have right here, this arm right here, and it was very unsettling, it was very difficult to pose, and if you turn the arm like this, you, you can see here the bicep is still looking forward even though the arms looking that way or this way and it was very unsettling i don't know why hot toys doesn't make it like a cutout here so you can also turn the bicep that would have been fixed he even has a sleeve like a short sleeve that it will cover that or it will be very close to it it will be slightly uh slightly notable but more than than this uh forward facing bicep with the <laughs> With your arm torn that way. By the way, this is the inside of a hot sauce. If you've never seen one, here you guys go. This is how double bend knees look like. There you go. And this is how every 90% of the hot toys that you have, they look like this on the inside. This is how, what they call the butterflies up and down and twisted. And there you go. So, what I did with this guy is about a about a second body like you see here and i got the double jointed elbow from this body and put it on this guy and at the same time i got the jacket i got another jacket for the same hawkeye and i cut this lee off as you can see here this is the half of the jacket right it should be like this the short sleeve to the left and then the long sleeve to the right or to his right or whatever you guys get the point and uh so i caught this i reverse it and put it on his left hand and the result is this what you have in front of you a hawkeye that has two long sleeve and i am freaking loving it i gotta put this thing to spin And you guys can tell me if you like this conversion or not. I really like this custom that I've done. And it was not a big deal. It was it's nothing impressive. But the end result, which is what matters, is I really I really like the end result. And you can see he bending that elbow really, really severely, way more than you could have done with a single um, joint double jointed elbows and knees are the best are a given and it's pretty nice 
I'm loving this new pose that he's pulling the his uh, right hand is completely straight out and um, the other hand is completely bent the uh, arrows close to his chest and that pose is really sick looking and I really like the fact that I'm gonna uh, that I'm able to to do that thanks to these uh, uh, double jointed arm that I have put inside uh, this new body. I know, I know, don't tell me. It's not screen accurate. I got it. It's okay, I don't really care about that. I care about my figure and my figure looks way better like this. In my opinion for me, it's my figure at the end of the day. If you, don't guys, if you guys don't like it, well, it's good. You can keep your uh, single it's fine as well. It was still you can you can find poses that it doesn't look bad or uh, it's completely up to you guys. I mean, you don't even have to do this. And but I just wanted to show you because it's really sick looking, and this is like the perfect Hawkeye for me. Like it, it's not gonna it's difficult uh, to get better than this. It looks really really good, unless they release something that. Uh, he has like dual sleeve and he's covering and it's very reminiscent of this but it comes like directly from Hot Toys. Even though I don't think that we're gonna be even getting anything way better than this Hawkeye. Whether it has two long sleeve or the short sleeve. Like it, how it comes this is a pretty perfect Hawkeye. And even if I wouldn't done this, this was the best Hawkeye already on the market. I just made it a tad better for myself, for my enjoyment, for my collection, and I am really loving it. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, leave it down below. And how I did this is pretty straightforward. I just uh, cut the jacket. I didn't cut anything. I just opened the jacket. Just make sure that you have a small zipper from another hot toy because it does not come with one. And so you can close the zipper back up. And then just put the sleeve in, you interchange the, the arms. Let me show you here. It has the screw here and it has two screws on the back. You unscrew that, this arm pops off, you put the new one in, you screw it back in and you're good to go. That's all you have to do. You put the new uh, sleeve here, you close the jacket, you zip it up and that, that's about it. There's, there's not much to it but it's very, very nice looking, in my opinion. And all this talk, besides I wanted to show you this um, mod that I made for my Hawkeye. I just saw a picture online that I want to share with you guys that has me so excited, super excited, because there is another Hawkeye coming towards us at full speed and it's gonna be pretty badass and i am obviously talking about this if you have been paying attention hawkeye has been missing from every trailer every toy every um i don't know everything that is related to avengers infinity war he's completely mia and is because he's in retirement. He retired, but he came back for Civil War. And after Civil War, he retired again to be with his family. So for that reason, he is not on any of the promos or anything. I haven't seen him so far until now. Obviously, he's in the movie. He's going to come out of retirement because the threat's going to be so big, he's going to have no choice to go and fight for uh, his planet because even he's in retirement uh, his wife and kids are gonna be in danger if he doesn't go over there and help everybody else to um, to save the planet from the Thanos invasion so he uh, entertaining weekly has been putting out uh, this uh, magazine cover for every um, every Avenger is going to be in the movie, uh, every major character, and he they finally release one for Hawkeye. And as you guys can see here, he's rocking the same outfit that in Civil War. And he even has the Ant-Man on the tip of the, 
of the arrow here and I don't know about you guys, but I highly doubt that we're going to be seeing the same scene from the same directors again. So this right here is out of Civil War, even though even though he's rocking the, the, the haircut for for Infinity War, which um, is new. He didn't have that on, on, on Civil War. This is the Infinity War haircut. This is the outfit for the old one. And yes, he could be using the same outfit. Why not? But this uh, representation here with M and on the tip is not, um, it's obviously not for, I am willing to bet money that we're not going to be seeing the same thing again, like M and on the tip of the arrow again, they're not going to reuse that one movie after the other. I don't think, I don't think so. But then again, I think he's going to be showing up in this outfit with his haircut and that is all nice i really like i showed you a second ago how much i like this outfit and with the little mod that i did but uh, what i really want to show you what i'm really excited about is this they have a second cover for hawkeye but this time he's doing the ronin adapting the ronin persona and instead of the bow and arrow he has katanas now and i am so excited for this this is gonna be epic this is gonna be really good in the movie and hot toy is gonna make a hot toy out of him and this is a completely different hawkeye even though i've just said that that one is the perfect hawkeye and i stand by those words i will totally be getting this one because this is not a traditional hawkeye this is more like a samurai deadwood style, really mean Hawkeye, and it, it's just incredible. I love the design, and I love the fact he's gonna come with katanas and all that. It's gonna be a completely different Hawkeye, completely different outfit, and it's just gonna be amazing. I cannot wait to see him in action and to see this um, figure announced by by Hot Toys. Uh, a couple of months back, I did a video. I, I did several videos talking about the figures that we're gonna be seeing uh, from Hot Toys. Just me speculating. This is one of the figures that I, I said that we're gonna see uh, getting from Hot Toys, and we are one step closer from my prediction becoming true. If you want to check those videos, I'm gonna put them on the description. Uh, check them out if you feel so uh, inclined. They are pure speculation. This one about the figures we're not going to be getting from Hot Toys that I really, really want. Really nice figures that myself wants and probably somebody else out there also wants them. The figures that we are going to be getting, figures as this one that I am um, predicting on that video that we're going to be getting from Hot Toys, figures that I want, like this one right here. And another one that I just put out up there to have some fun with you guys to see what you have to say. Figures that might be coming out, but not be coming out because they're smaller characters. And Hot Toys might not be putting them out. Or they might, it's just up to them. So I really know, don't, uh, don't know what to say about that. So I was asking you guys to see what you think about that. So yeah, let me know on the comments below. What do you think about my mod? What do you think about this uh, Ronin Hawkeye? It looks fantastic. I cannot wait to see the movie. The movie is a month away. I can almost smell the second trailer from here. It's going to be dropping really, really soon. The latest, the latest we're going to see the trailer is um, next week. By Tuesday, we're going to be having that trailer in our faces. I'm going to watch it a hundred times in a row, probably. I am super excited for this movie. I'm super excited for this line. Hopefully Hot Toys doesn't go crazy with the prices so we can afford, everybody can afford as much as they can and everybody can have the figures that they like on their collection so everybody is happy. So yeah guys, you know what to do, put it down there. What do you think about all this and don't be a stranger on the channel, be around.